At least one person was killed today after a car plowed into Charlottesville protesters. Police have the suspected driver in custody. Mike Tech reporter Taylor Lorenz reports the police have the plates, the car, and the man in custody. The attack occurred after white supremacists and far-left Antifa thugs battled in the streets of Charlottesville, Virginia during a planned protest on Saturday. President Trump immediately condemned the violence and rioting during a press conference in Bedminster, New Jersey. Trump called on all Americans to come together amid the violent protesters in Charlottesville, Virginia. The president said that while hatred and violence erupt in Virginia there are so many incredibly great things happening in our country, such as economic growth. So when I watch Charlottesville to me it's very, very sad. We have to respect each other, he said. Ideally we have to love each other. But this was not enough for several Republican senators who attacked the president after the horrible violence. Weak GOP senators condemned Trump for not picking sides today. How awful there has been a distinct tone difference between what POTUS said and DIDNT say versus many Senate GOPers who did call out the hate by name. Chuck Todd at Chuck Todd August 12, 2017 Marco Rubio again proves he is not presidential material. Very important for the nation to hear at POTUS describe events in Charlottesville for what they are, a terror attack by white supremacists. Marco Rubio at Marco Rubio August 12, 2017 UG. Cory Gardner. Mr. President, we must call evil by its name. These were white supremacists and this was domestic terrorism. HTTPST.copapnitharao. Cory Gardner at San Cory Gardner August 12, 2017. Chuck Grassley. What white Nate journalists are doing in Charlottesville is homegrown terrorism that can't be tolerated any more than what any extremist does. Chuck Grassley at Chuck Grassley August 12, 2017. Senator Hatch. We should call evil by its name. My brother DIDNT give his life fighting Hitler for Nazi ideas to go unchallenged here at home. OGH, Senator Hatch office at Senor and Hatch August 12, 2017.